Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. I decided to come on here and do this video for y'all and guess what? My skin started breaking out. So, ignore the skin. If you don't know, I have dry skin, I have texture skin, and sometimes combination sensitive depends on the product y'all. But I want to get this video out for you all for the summer so we can have that glowy skin and look amazing without makeup y'all because I know there's some girlies out here that follow me that don't wear makeup and sometimes I'm that girl. So, there are two brands that I would like to talk about y'all and y'all already know what it could be. It is Good Molecules and Peach Slice. Now, if you do not know what neither brand is, they both are affordable drugstore brands that you will find at Ulta. You can also find Good Molecules at at Target so I would suggest going there look at these products y'all and figuring out what you want and what new things you want to try now the first brand we're gonna get into is good molecule good molecules has really been that girl lately since I've been trying them y'all I've been I've been using them for about a year and I can say that I really really do love their products especially for the affordable price that they're at so good molecules go ahead sponsor your girl you know the first thing on the good molecules list y'all will be the exfoliating toner now I do have one right here this is a brand new bottle y'all it's at the top when I tell y'all I've been using this, I've been using this product. Now this product is good for getting rid of any dead skin cells, also for pimples and acne. Like if you want to do a spot treatment, you'll put the toner on the different spots just so it can look good. I use this toner twice a week. I go back between two for a reason, simply because this one is not really for sensitive skin. So be mindful of that. If you have sensitive skin, I say watch out for the nose crevices because this product, when it gets in there, it burns a little bit but anyways other than that this product is amazing i forgot how much it costs y'all i want to say maybe like eight nine dollars or so but this product is worth it if you need something to exfoliate your skin but you don't want to get you don't want to do the exfoliating or you do as a scrub you need something really quick to go this product is it the next product I recommend y'all is the Niacinamide Serum. Now this is what it looks like. I have the big jumbo size bottle. This was $12 and it is so, so, so worth it y'all. Like I am in love with this product. It helps the appearance of texture. It helps rejuvenate the skin, makes the skin look good. And it is great for dry skin. Now Niacinamide, I don't know what they put in it, but this product, if, but if you have dry texture skin, this product right here will be that girl for you. This product is in the deep crevices of your skin. It just makes everything look more hydrated, looks more plump and full it also brightens the skin a tiny tiny little bit not too too much but enough to where your skin looks like you just got a dermaplane but I love this product down which is why I was at the $12 one because I could not be without it because it was out of the $6 one so I went ahead got this one and I love everything about it now if you're somebody who have dry skin but also fine lines and everything of that nature the hyaluronic acid will be for you now i got the small one this is their six dollar one y'all but this product is amazing if i put it up here in my little fine lines or my little smile lines y'all this product plumps and where if i'm going throughout the day my skin looks like it just looks smooth well no it don't look smooth let me say that but it don't look smooth but like the wrinkles and everything is like almost gone which is why i love this product now sometimes i can go without it depending on if i'm having a good skin day or a bad skin day but y'all see i'm very animated like i'm super animated so this product right here helps me it kind of give that appearance of fillers but like on a cheaper version like not the little you know the stiff face look but as far as like throughout the day the skin looks good it looks hydrated and you will not see the appearance of fine lines now if you missed it, if you've skipped this product in your step, you'll realize it. Trust me, I do it all the time on accident and I realize it every single time it never fails. So if you have a little bit of money, you have wrinkles plus dry skin, anything of that nature, this product, yeah. Next product that also give a filler look, but more so on the affordable side is the Good Molecules Retinol Cream. Now this cream right here, y'all, is amazing. When I tell... When I tell you that this product does everything it needs to do plus more, it does. Now, if you have sensitive skin, I have a I have another product that you might want to try more. But this product right here is amazing. Now, I have found out that with retinols, you're not supposed to like mix it with like glycolic acid or anything of that nature. Um, I do it. Don't follow me. Don't just I'm just giving you that tip out there if you don't know. But I definitely do do it, and my face looks amazing. So, but there are days when my skin is sensitive, y'all. So I do have another product for that. But overall. If I had to decide between the two, I would go with this one simply because it's a cream and it gets into the skin barrier and it just makes the skin look voluptuous and beautiful throughout the next day. Like I'm telling you, this product is really 
top tier, especially for texture skin. If you want to get that glass look for the summer, this product will be your girl. Now I told y'all I had like an alternative if you have sensitive skin for that cream. I have the retinol oil. Now I accidentally bought both of these on accident. Like I bought the uh, cream like a month before I bought this. And then when I opened it, I realized I had the cream. I'm like, well crap. Now I got two. So I decided to test both out to see which one I like the most. And I do love both of them. So I'm 50-50 honestly. But I do prefer the cream more than the oil. Because I feel like the cream actually gets in and work everything down. But like I said, if you have sensitive skin, this product would be better for you. Simply because the retinol, the cream can be too thick and too heavy. And it can also damage your skin berry if you have sensitive or even too, too dry skin. So the oil will probably work more for you. Because you're able to use it more often. And it's an oil. So it's also going to hydrate the skin at the same time but this product is amazing it's a small little bottle but a little bit goes a long long way so it do not take that much y'all don't be trying to overdo it just to make your skin look terrible i promise you done it tried it years ago it's not worth it so i have another oil from good molecules and this oil is for the girls who have very very and i mean very dry skin i promise you this product will be great for you at night time it is good molecules ultra hydrating oil this is what it looks like y'all it's in a small little bottle like the retinol oil but the packaging is yellow on this one so now this product changed my life when i first got it y'all i can't remember what the reason why i bought it but it reminded me of like a different skincare brand where they had an oil at the end now like i use this at nighttime for that and tell trust me y'all this product made a difference and it makes a staple in my skincare routine the first couple of times i use it i noticed when i wake up in the morning my skin is hydrated it's not dry it looks good it looks plumpy so when i go in and i wash it the next day with my cleanser and everything it's not stripping my skin any more than what it needs to because of this oil right here like the oil really does get the job done and it carries on to the next day now you probably can wear this after you wash your face in the morning or so but i only do it at night time because it's an oil and i do not like my face look oily if you get what i'm saying like i prefer it to look like you know like like a glow within and not like i just got through good and like the vaseline and like oiling my face down next brand we're gonna be talking about y'all is peach slices now if you do not know what peach slices is i'm gonna need y'all to like do y'all research because peach slices uh peach slices I'm getting tongue tied is really that girl in so many different ways it is great for dry texture skin it is a korean skincare brand and you know their products are a lot of natural home remedies that they come up with and it's not harmful to the skin in any way and it gets the job done without using any chemicals but it could take a little bit longer so if you want the results quicker maybe chemicals if you don't really care but you want something that's healthy for your skin then you will probably like korean skincare um this these brand is the first brand i've tried when it comes to Korean skincare and I am in love I do want to try their other brand peach and lila I think is what it's called because they have glass skin products but I have yet to get my hands on it so whenever I have a little bit of extra money I'm probably going to try that y'all because I'm always looking to perfect my skincare routine and make this face look better than what it already is the first product I'm going to talk about y'all is their cleanser now I've been using this bad boy since I've got it, y'all. Like this cleanser is amazing. It is at Snail Rescue. And I'm probably y'all probably wondering like what's in it. It has snail mucinin in it. And that's supposed to be great for the skin. Now I know that scares some people. Trust me, when I first saw it, I said, mm -mm, it's it the snail mucinin. Y'all know what that is. Like I can't get down with this. But I decided to purchase it no matter what my judgment was on it. And I went back for more products, y'all. Obviously, I went back for more products, so I really, really do love this. It does not strip the skin. It does not strip anything, y'all. It is also hydrating. And afterwards, if you have like a cleanser that is too stripping, you know you have the little white cast on certain parts of your face and it looks like it's just patchy dry and it hurts. This product does not do that, meaning that it is made for dry skin. Now, this product is amazing on so many different levels. I love everything about it, y'all. It's just, it's something that you need. Obviously, this goes hands in hand with the cleanser, but I also have their toner, which is their Snail Rescue Toner, of course. Now, I'll go back and forth between this one and the Good Molecules Law for a good reason. This one is great for everyday use. Like I said, it doesn't have too many chemical chemicals in it. Well, it really don't have any chemicals in it, let's be for real. But this is great for everyday use. And I'll go in with the Glycolic Toner from Good Molecules. And like I said, spot treatment on everywhere my bumps are at. But if my face is doing bad, as a whole i'll just skip this and go in with that one as well but this one is amazing everyday use never breaks out my skin does not burn does not do anything y'all my skin looks juvenated once again it has snail mucinin 
this product like is great i don't know what peach slices have done but they created a great skincare line for dry skinned girls now if you need you a good hydrating mask y'all i have one from peach slices let's get this is their snail rescue jelly mask now this mask is amazing a little bit goes a long way once you first apply the face feels amazing when i tell you i love this i love this like after i use this once a week i use it once a week but after i use it y'all fine lines anything of that nature it like kind of like almost get rid of it but i'm pretty sure that's because of all the products i use help fight that but i feel like this will be the one mask that i would have to have in my staple closet whatever i would have to have this mask at home on standby just in case something happened to my skin because charcoal masks get all the dead skin okay cool but it's gonna dry out my skin i don't play in my face okay i need something to go in that's hydrating and i feel like this is that girl now this is a little bit on the pricier side than all the other products that i listed y'all but i promise y'all a little bit goes a long way this product is amazing it transformed the skin like i said peach slices just really made a fire fire line now if you have those big like not cyst bumps but like them big acne bumps that you just feel like you want to pop or get rid of quickly peach slices also have a product for y'all too and it is their acne spots right here y'all as you can see i've been using these for a good while and i tell y'all they get everything girl like i really 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 do love these i don't have to use them as often because i don't really get that many that much like acne that way but when i do get them this product it's going on my face. This product is gonna get used regardless. So if you have a little extra little money and you wanna invest in some acne spots, I recommend the Peach Slices one. I have not used the Good Molecules one, but it is on my list once I run out of these, y'all. But right now, this is that girl, been that go-to girl if I have any huge bumps, pimples that I need to get rid of overnight. This is this product. I have one more product for you all, but this one is an honorable mention product, y'all. It's not Good Molecules or Peach Slices, and I know I said, y'all. Those are the two top brands, but I do have to give this girl, I think it's a girl, but this brand a shout out because, y'all, they changing the game when it comes to skincare, and it is suitable for, of course, black girls. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure any other race can use it, but it's been known for being for black girls. So the name of the product is Black Girl Sunscreen, and it is in this white not white black sorry slow but it is in this black bottle right here y'all i have used this for three days notice a major difference than what i was already using and that should tell you a lot y'all because i don't just buy new products and like automatically even right off the bat because i need to wear them for a couple days but three days and i'm noticing a difference this product is an honorable mention swear to god now this product does retail for like 14 15 dollars so it's up under that 20 dollar budget y'all like i told y'all but this product is great for us dark skin girlies or any black girls that are out there like i said i'm pretty sure if you're a different race and ethnicity you are able to use this product as well but like i said it is catered towards us black women now this product it goes on like a white you know a normal sunscreen product however it does not have a white cask it doesn't leave your skin looking red purple like ashy this product does not do any of that i actually put too much on on my first day and it blended right into my skin like the skin was glowing it was glistening it was just amazing y'all and i got the 30 spf of course but they have i think a 50 and a 35 or so so if you want to go up a little bit higher they do have that but it's going to cost a little bit more this product says it is for face and body it also has jojoba oil and what other oil? avocado in it which is also a plus and it said it is water resistant up to 80 minutes so this is for the people who let it go swimming and everything of that nature but y'all this product regardless of what i just said i love this product i think the oils really do make a difference in it because when i rub the sunscreen in my face was just glowing it was like it was going from within and i really really do love that especially the way my skin has been looking but but if you do need a new skincare product y'all i do recommend trying black girl skincare and just testing it out see if you like it because if you don't you can always take it back we, we don't waste money right here just just take it back well, that is it for today's video let me know in the comments what product do you have from these brands that you love or what products are you recommending on trying also let me know in the comments what products you are using that i think i should add to my routine and try out as well because we are trying to help you girls out of course this is what it's all about now 
all of these products will be linked on my Amazon store front down below. So if you want to check these products out, it will be there. Let me know once again in the comments what you all think, what you all love, what you all hate. Let me know if you tried the brand Peach Lights. Let me know if you tried Good Molecules. If you haven't tried any of the brand, I don't know what to tell you. But let me know what your thoughts about the brand, the products, everything that I mentioned. And let me, but let me know what I need to add in the next few videos. If there's some things that I miss or some products that I need to try out, once again, let me know down below. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are almost at 1 okay y'all we are over halfway there so help your girl out and get there and everything of that nature like i say tell me y'all you leave a like you comment you whatever you need to do to help your girl out but once again y'all i hope you all have a good rest of your week and i will see y'all in the next video bye